Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, as always, my morning routine is to go and check on my succulents and my plants. But today was not a very pleasant day because as soon as I noticed my succulents, I started noticing that there was some browning on the stem. Now I was very confused about it because I did not overwater it, nor did I underwater it, nor there is much direct sunlight falling onto it. It's just morning direct sunlight, but yet I could notice that the stem had started to turn brown but as I did a close inspection I happened to notice the culprit and here the culprit was these are scale insects now guys these are not mealybugs these are different from mealybugs in fact these are much more dangerous than mealybugs so what exactly does the scale insects do now guys these will attack the stems of your succulents and they tend to attach on them it's very difficult to brush them off right now i did not have any cinnamon powder but i had another solution at home and i'm going to show you what exactly it is so let me show what exactly does the scale insects do they will attach on to your succulent stems and they will suck up all the juice or the sap of the stem due to which the stem starts to turn brown it starts to turn weak and over the period of time if this is not treated the entire plant can die so guys not only the stem sorry they will also affect the leaves as well especially the juvenile scale insects will affect the leaves and the mature ones tend to attach themselves to the stems now it's very difficult to see especially if your succulent is very compact it's very difficult to notice over here my succulent had stretched so it was much easier to find them out it's always better to have a visual check on all your succulents so now here as you can see this stem has completely dried off they have basically sucked up all the sap all the juice from the stem making the stem dry and brown and this is where the stem will die and break so you can see the amount of scale insects there are at least two to three of them that have attached themselves onto this stem and they have uh, completely dried out the stem and there are a couple of more over here so now what i'm going to do is i will show you a solution that is already present in your house i'm sure this is going to be present in every home currently and that is the hand sanitizer now you can even use rubbing alcohol but rubbing alcohol is very difficult to get hold of but we have hand sanitizer at home readily available i'm sure everyone has at least one bottle of it you would also need a earbud now what we are going to do is we are going to take a very small amount of hand sanitizer on this earbud and then touch the earbud on the scale insects now guys remember even if you're using rubbing alcohol do not spray your plant with rubbing alcohol you can either use a cotton swab or you can use a earbud we do not need to bathe the succulent with hand sanitizer that will harm the succulent we just need to touch the scale insects so that the protective layer the protective coating that they have that has to get dissolved and that will get dissolved as soon as we touch the earbud that has the hand sanitizer now as soon as i touch the earbud on the scale insects you can see the waxy coating or the white protective coating tends to dissolve immediately because of the hand sanitizer now guys it will be slightly difficult to reach out to them because they are so tiny and they tend to stick to the stem so it's little difficult to get hold of them but guys this is the most safest way to get rid of them now guys over here as soon as i touched it the sanitizer was so strong to them that it immediately detached itself from the stem now another important thing guys whenever you're doing an application like this be it rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer or anything for that matter whenever you're using any kind of insecticides or fungicides remember do not do it under direct morning sunlight or under any direct sunlight right now it's early in the morning and very soon there will be direct sunlight that would be falling onto this space so i will discontinue doing it right now and i'll get back to this plant later 
Now guys over here I've gone ahead and separated the stem from the mother plant because it's almost dried it is not going to work out so I had to detach it from the mother plant. So this is where I'm going to stop applying any more of hand sanitizer because in a couple of uh, minutes there is going to be direct sunlight that would be falling onto the space so I'll discontinue over here and get back to this plant uh, in the evening or once uh, there is no direct sunlight. So this is how these scale insects look uh, they will immediately get detached from the stem they are otherwise very difficult to scrape it off from the stem so this tends to make things much easy you can see uh, how tiny it is and the moment you're going to use the hand sanitizer or the earbud dipped in hand sanitizer and you're going to apply it on the stem they will immediately get separated from the stem so it's much easy to take them off or get them off your stem with the help of hand sanitizer so now we are back to the pot again uh, the sun the direct sun is gone off so i'm using some light to show you because it's slightly dark over here so now the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut off this brown part because it's of no use uh, always ensure that your blade knife and scissor is sterilized before doing any cuttings now uh, it's not necessary that you have to cut because this pot was due for a cutting a trimming because most of the crassulas in this pot were stretched and i anyway which ways had to do a cutting on them so when i'm going to cut them it's going to be much easier for me to take a closer look at those scale insects but again it's not necessary that you have to cut if you're able to reach to those scale insects with the help of the earbud which i'm sure it is possible so you do not need to cut now guys uh, i will be doing a complete care guide on crassula very soon so in that video i will show you the update on uh, the cuttings that I'm doing right now. So here you can see most of the crassulas over here was stretched. So I'm just cutting up the stretched part. So you can see even on this part as well, there are some scale insects. So basically they have uh, infested the entire pot. So this is going to be much easier for me. Once when I cut it, I can uh, do a thorough check and then apply the hand sanitizer. Again, as I said, it's not important. You can do it without cutting as well. So I will cut all these stretch part then let them callous root and then i'll add them into the soil and make an arrangement i'll give you the update in my next video whenever i make a video on crassula care tips it's going to be a complete care tip video so i will add the update of this crassula because this is going to take some time again after this video i'll have to do a thorough check uh, there might be more scaly insects that are going to be attached on the other parts of the succulent as well. So I'll do a complete check uh, and treat them with the hand sanitizer. So here, as you can see, there is a new pup coming uh, and which indicates that uh, this succulent is healthy. It was just infested with uh, the scale insects and it's good that we noticed well in advance so we could take care of it but uh, nevertheless because now we have got rid of almost most of the scale insects we are going to work with getting rid all of them and uh, then this plant will start to do well again as i said i will give you the update in the next video i'm going to let all these cuttings dry and callous and even let them root i will let them air root and then put them into the soil so before putting it out to callus again i'm going to do a thorough check because as i said the scale insects had done a very bad infestation there are a lot of scale insects still present on the crassula so again i'm going to do the same process what i did in the morning i'm going to use the earbud uh, dip it in the hand sanitizer and gently rub on the scale insects now guys in the morning i had touched the hand sanitizer on majority of the scale insects so right now when i am just touching them they are falling apart because probably they're either dried out dehydrated or already dead so right now it's so much easier to get rid of them so i'm going to continue this process until i'm completely satisfied and i do not see any more of the uh, scale insects and i'm also going to show you how much of damage they have done to the leaves you will be able to see a lot of dents or i would say a kind of dimpling on the leaves because that's how they tend 
tend to um, attach themselves on the leaves and when they tend to suck up all the sap or all the juice from the leaves they tend to create a small little dent on the leaves so in case if you also tend to notice that there are some dents on your leaves so please take a closer look at your plant check on the stem check on the leaves check around the lower part of the stem as well because usually that's where also they tend to attack now here this is the one that was the first one that i had touched with the hand sanitizer and you can see it has slightly got discolored and at the moment i'm just touching it with the toothpick you can see that it it's almost dead i think it's almost dry and immediately falls off so guys you can see that it was such a good uh, application it was such a good uh, option now this was a slightly fresh one i think i didn't touch the hand sanitizer on this one so you can see how difficult it is and it's still alive you can see it was still alive so this is how it is so the hand sanitizer that was touched on the scale insects completely dried out or basically got dehydrated because their waxy coating was dissolved so guys this is an amazing thing you should try if you happen to see this i hope that none of you guys ever face an issue like this but you know it's part of nature so if you ever come across this you know what's the solution so guys this is how the leaves look like post all these scale insects were taken off with the help of the hand sanitizer uh you can see those dents on the leaves this is what i was talking about um they have left these marks so basically this is where they were sucking up all of the um, sap or the juice of the leaves now i have put this up on the tray i'm going to let it callous and as i said i'm going to update you on the next grasula video so by then i hope all of these survive and they do quite well so guys i hope that this video on scale insects was helpful to you and if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating